Good evening, this is the Oscar expert here at the Cannes Film Festival, and it's time for a review of the opening night film, John DuBerry. The movie is written, directed by, and starring Mai Wen, and it also stars Johnny Depp, and I am not gonna talk about any of the things. I'm not gonna talk about any of the things. I'm just gonna review the movie. The film tells the real life story of Jean Bacou. She was a rather free-spirited woman for a 17th century lady. She was at one point a prostitute, and then the king was like, I would like to go in there. And she met with the king, and then she worked her way up and became his number one mistress. You know, this woman had a very interesting life. Her free-spirited attitude towards sex, among other things, made her an interesting figure for this time period, and it makes sense why somebody might want to tell her story. Because she really owned who she was, and she owned her reputation. And Maiwen plays this character very well, and I thought if this movie took the route of a character study, it could have been pretty solid. But unfortunately, the character doesn't seem to get much development past the first half. And really, the movie becomes about her relationship with the king, and this relationship was just so underdeveloped. Flaccid, if you will. You know, there's a reason to believe that the king likes her because of her free-spirited whatever, but why she likes him is entirely a mystery. And part of that is because they just do not develop the king's character very well at all. There's almost nothing about him that is interesting or worth liking. His personality is basically just that he likes Mywin's character. Like there's really, there's nothing there. And as the movie goes on, we're supposed to buy in more and more to the idea that these two had like this beautiful thing going on and I just, could, I just couldn't see it. I was searching for reasons to care. By the end, it's very clear that it kind of wanted to be about these two and their relationship but in the middle, it's just struggling and it has, it's having an identity crisis. A lot of the events just feel random. We're losing sight of whatever the core of this movie is. I think the movie wants to cover too much ground as a history lesson when it should have been more focused on character development. Like by the end, the movie wants me to care so much about the romance. It's like begging me to care. It's almost like putting its hands on me. It's like, hey, hey do, you, do you care about the romance? Look at them, are you gonna fucking cry? Are you gonna fucking cry? I'm like, get the fuck off me. Johnny Depp does sometimes pull the life out of this character where there isn't much. He can convey a lot with like a smirk or whatever, but I feel like maybe there was a hindrance where they couldn't feed him more than 12 words at a time because he doesn't really speak French that well. They kind of get away with it because he's portrayed as this man of few words. But at the end of the day, I do wonder, you know, with the lack of depth in this character, were we missing out on a monologue that they just wouldn't give us? Although I think you could have gotten away with making this character not say much and still, you know, explore something deeper. So I, I think you could have worked around. The narration does the movie no favors. It just tells us things that the movie could have easily just conveyed. And sometimes it gives us details about their lives that are just not that important. Like I don't really care about what they did in the Revolutionary War afterwards because it just has nothing to do with the story that I just watched. John Dubarry is also gifted this black boy named Zamor, who's like kind of her servant. And for most of the movie, we're supposed to believe that she's just like, she's much nicer to him than everybody else. But then at the end of the movie, there's this little detail that's like, oh yeah, by the way, Zamor like detested her later in life. And it's like, well, why? Like we didn't get any of that. If you're gonna have him be a character, do something about it. A lot of pieces in this movie felt like they were in there because they happened and they were history. But your job as a filmmaker is to make all those feel like they are part of the story that you are trying to tell. And not just like, oh, well we have to mention this because this happened. I think the movie movies just for people who like costume drama romances where someone will do like a little like gesture or curtsy and then other people around them will like huff and puff and start flopping around like birds and be like you can't do that that's considered offensive in the 17th century some reviews are like oh it's handsomely made and it's like sure it's handsomely made the directing and shot selection it doesn't really ever feel like it's enhancing the story all that much you can say that it's kind of a pretty looking movie and it has big fluffy costumes but like you know that's neither here nor there. Overall, the movie had some redeeming aspects. It had some solid moments between Mai Wen and Johnny Depp. Mai Wen's performance is probably one of the best parts of the movie. And there were some humorous moments that the movie needed. But overall, as it went on and lost direction and then settled upon a direction that I, I did not care about at all, this movie became just another dull, forgettable costume drama. And that's what I was afraid that it was going to be. I give this movie a four out of 10. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. More can reviews coming your way. Do you think John DuBerry is Mywin's character or Johnny Depp's character?